All right, back now at 622. 10 minutes southwest of Beatty is the ghost town of Rhyolite, Nevada. Five years is all it took from boom to bust. But as Fox 5's Peter Dawson found out, Rhyolite has become a popular location for Hollywood studios and for foreign artists. Rhyolite, Nevada. It's the classic mining town story. Man finds gold. Man shares news with everybody. Everybody comes running. Richmond see potential. Potential turns into capital. Capital turns into infrastructure. Infrastructure creates a community. Community works the mine 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Desired ore dries up. Town goes bust. Buildings begin to crumble. Crumble turns into curiosity. Curiosity turns into tourism. Tourists sweat in the desert sun taking pictures of nothing. Gift shop sells flutes. Roll credits, the end. We're standing in the ruins of the old Overbury Bank building that was built in 1907. The town was established, it started really getting established in 1905. By the time the 1907 and 1908 here, and they built the bank buildings, it extended from all the way down almost to the highway, back up behind the train station. There were approximately eight to 10,000 people by census that lived here. Several mines dotted the landscape, but the Montgomery Shoshone mine was the largest producer. Ernest Alexander Bob Montgomery sold his claim to East Coast industrialist Charles M. Schwab, who invested heavily in infrastructure, stringing 100 miles of electric wire, piped in water, and built grand structures, including a train depot that eventually served three different railroads. This is pretty much all the original woodwork. The floor's the same, the tile that's on the floor. Basically, it's all the same from that period. Then as you come back out here once before, like I said, I, I think these for sure, well, I think they're the ticket windows. But then up there, you can see the stall because they, they heat with wood out here. Nevada's barren desert is where the West was truly won. A wild history filled with intrigue and infamy that attracts adventurers from around the globe. On this day, tours from England, Sweden, and France wanted to experience America's Old West. Some famous places to visit like uh, Monument Valley, the Grand Canyon, and Death Valley. So we said like, we have to do this, you know? It's one time in our life to, to see these kind of places. Something we wanted to discover. It must be Harsh, con harsh conditions here because there's not that much left to indicate in those people. The desert doesn't do buildings very any good out here. <laughs> Definitely get wind, uh, wind stripped buildings. I mean, that's the problem with a lot of mining towns. They, uh, they boom for a little bit and then they go bust. Hollywood's love affair with Rylite began in 1925. Paramount Pictures filmed a silent feature called The Airmail. 80 years and several motion pictures later have used the macabre setting for apocalyptic films, including Michael Bay's The Island. But there's nothing. Everything's dead, Lincoln. But not all is dreary. An invasion of art has given Rylite a splash of color. The Goldwell Open Air Museum can't be missed. Albert Shukowski came over from Belgium wanting to do The Last Supper, which is a sculpture that kind of mimics the poses in Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. And then he invited friends from the Royal Academy of Art in Antwerp, and they did some of the other sculptures. Kind of a cutout figure, big, tall, well, maybe 25 feet tall also, figure of Shorty Harris, the, one of the prospectors who first discovered gold here. But he's being followed by a penguin. The uh, Belgian artist, Fred Berwitz, who did the sculpture, always has an element of self-portraiture in anything he does, and he said he felt totally out of his element in the desert. So he is our penguin. The scorching sun and strong wind, feeling out of our element is what attracts visitors in the first place. The feeling of abandoned prosperity remains, but with a little help from your imagination. Peter Dawson, Fox 5 News, local, Los Vegas. I had no idea that was there. Me either. That's no so cool. cool. Very cool. Great job, Peter.